Today's topic is again new shell. I've decided to revisit it and incorporate suggestions from the last video. So let's not waste any time and get started right away. New shell calls itself a shell through scripting language, prioritizing structured data and pipelines. It supports common shell and scripting functionalities. Whereas all data in NewShell is always supposed to be structured, allowing for various forms beyond simple strings. It covers core categories including file systems, operating systems, environment manipulation, data parsing and formatting, as well as network connectivity. Let me give you some simple examples to illustrate what this actually means. The commands ps and this are used to display system-specific information, whereas the get or the where keyword are actually used to reduce the resulting set to the subset that is actually relevant for me. You can certainly do the same thing in Bash, but there you would be actually searching in text, whereas new shell works with data to which appropriate operators can be applied, such as the less than or the greater than signs. Let me give you some more examples. New shell also supports transforming outputs into different formats, such as JSON, CSV or plain text. This can be useful when you do not wish to display the output as a table. I can imagine that the topic of POSIX compatibility might be a heated topic in your heads right now but we will discuss this later on in the video. New shell commands follow a specific philosophy aimed at simplicity and composability. The principles include having one clear way to do things, supporting simple commands to cover essential needs, while offering specialized features through plugins ensuring tasks can be achieved by composing simpler commands without additional flags or options. You can find the following lines stated in the documentation. There should be one and preferably only one obvious way to do it. You will probably recognize this from the Zen of Python. So much for the goals and philosophy of NuShell, but what is NuShell not trying to be? In terms of performance, NuShell emphasizes usability and user enjoyment over achieving the best results on some micro benchmarks. It also prioritizes helping users write correct scripts over strict adherence to rules, providing well formulated errors and a good documentation. While NuShell does aim for interoperability with external commands, it doesn't aim for strict POSIX compliance, but rather focuses on making the user experience pleasant. Lastly, NuShell has a flexible approach to paradigms, varying from functional programming, systems programming, OOP, and more without rigidly adhering to any specific paradigm. See the following documentation. As stated there, above all else, Nu should be fun to use. Set to the stream editor that is often used for manipulating text through patterns, substitutions, and deletions. Awk, on the other hand, is a powerful text processing language that is ideal for data extraction and reporting. While both SET and Awk are powerful and flexible, they can be complex, especially for beginners. NuShell, with its modern intuitive syntax and structured data philosophy, brings a new perspective to shell scripting. It prioritizes readability and ease of use, making it a great tool for beginners and experienced users. Let's look at some examples to illustrate this comparison. In set, you might use the following command to replace all occurrences of apple with orange in a file. In new shell, you can achieve the same result with the following command. As you can see, new shell commands are more intuitive and easier to understand at first glance. Let's take a look at some more examples. Let's say we want to extract the first and the third field from a CSV file. In new shell, the same operation could be performed as follows. Again, from my personal point of view, NuShell's version of the command is more straightforward and readable. Or let's take a look at the following example, where we want to print the lines where the value in the first column is greater 100. You might want to use org as follows. In NuShell, you could do the following. In this case, NuShell's command is more verbose, but it's also more explicit and easier to understand, especially for someone new to the command. In conclusion, while set and org are undeniably powerful tools, NuShell's modern user-friendly approach makes it a compelling alternative, especially for those new to shell scripting and those who prioritize readability and maintainability. Its emphasis on structured data and its intuitive command structure can make complex tasks simpler and more approachable. Let's take a look at the following example. Suppose we are working with a text file called students.txt, which contains the following data. If we wanted to select all students who are 12 years old and convert the data to JSON format, we could use the following new shell command. To select the same set as mentioned before, but in PowerShell, you can use the following command. This command will give you the same output. 
Both new shell and PowerShell are powerful and flexible scripting languages. The syntax and design philosophies are quite different. PowerShell tends to follow the traditional programming paradigms, making it a good choice for people with a background in .NET and other C-style languages. NewShell and PowerShell have similar approaches, especially in terms of using structured data and their focus on user-friendliness. Your choice between the two really depends on what you're aiming for. NewShell in particular works as one would expect, platform independent. While PowerShell is also available on Unix-based operating systems, it does come with compromises. In a Microsoft-specific environment, I would lean towards PowerShell. On Unix-like systems, I would likely opt for NewShell. Comparing PowerShell to NewShell is somewhat akin to comparing Java with c -sharp. NewShell has robust features that allow seamless interaction with databases. Let's say we use the following SQLite schema. Of course, it's also possible to use tools like the SQLite 3 command line tool to execute SQL queries. However, the advantage of using NewShell is that it provides a uniform syntax for querying various data formats, regardless of whether you are working with SQLite databases, JSON files, CSV files, or other structured data formats. Apart from that, NewShell delivers a table again, which then can be piped in other NewShell commands. In an earlier frame of this video, I have shown network connections, but only without explanation. In the following, you can see that REST API requests via NewShell are also quite intuitive. The following command pulls the result to a specific endpoint and restricts the results directly to a specific subset. The same result could be achieved via a combination of curl and jq as follows. Now, let's be honest, which one is more readable? I think the point is clear, isn't it? As previously stated, it is not NuShell's primary goal to be POSIX compliant. Nevertheless, you can still go the usual way out of NuShell. NuShell is designed to be a modern shell alternative, but that doesn't mean it has abandoned the past. It can still interact with traditional POSIX commands. This is achieved through the following operator, which tells NuShell to treat the following command as an external command rather than a NuShell specific one. Apart from this, it should be mentioned that NuShell supports various data types. See the following documentation. However, if there still is a need, there is a certain compatibility with the proven methods and known tools such as set, org, etc. All in all, the meta isn't about checking whether the functionality that comes with NewShell could be replaced by a combination of existing CLI tools in Bash, VSH or Fish, that's definitely possible, without a doubt. The question is about which approach is the most comfortable and most readable for you personally. Well, that's all we have for today's NewShell topic. Going into more details would overload this video from my point of view. Let me know if you are interested in particular details of NuShell, like for example Starship and prompt configuration or concrete scripts. I hope you found these topics informative and helpful. Stay tuned and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and cheers.